Hey everybody, how's it going? Fucking, this is going to be my review for After Earth. Finally, because I've, I've just been doing other shit, or I've forgotten about it, or I've just plain not wanted to fucking do it. Because this is a bad fucking movie. Like, really fucking bad. I mean, not good bad. Bad bad. Like, horribly bad. Like, so, that's like my fucking spoiler-free review right there for people who are worried about spoilers. But I don't think anybody fucking cares when you spoil a bad movie for them. I don't think there was ever one person who ever said, like, Fuck, you told me the end of fucking Battlefield Earth. They fucking blow them up with an atom bomb. They just happen to fucking find them. Fuck you. We're no longer friends. No, that's never happened. So... The rest of this is going to have a lot of fucking spoilers because there's a lot of bad shit to fucking talk about here. But, like, this movie fucking perplexes me, though, because I honestly don't know who the fucking blame the most for this. Like, M. Night Shyamalan or Will Smith? Like, I, I'm leaning towards Will Smith because he's the one who wrote this. He's the one who hired M. Night Shyamalan. He funded... A huge percentage of this. He fucking... He, he basically bought his fucking son a movie. I mean, you can't blame M. Night Shyamalan for making an M. Night Shyamalan movie when he's been hired. And let's face it, people. He took this job out of desperation. Let's let's face it. You, I don't fucking think this was something M. Night Shyamalan even wanted to fucking do. And that's, and you know, me fucking kind of defending him is not like me fucking admonish him of any sins here. Like, he, like, there's some really bad fucking direction choices. Like, the weird fucking languages. Like, I get what they were going with. Like, oh, we left fucking Earth, so all the, you know, every, you know, at that point, like, nationalities would be bullshit. It's just like, okay, now we're the human race because we're in space and we all have to work together or fucked. So it kind of would make sense that there'd be a weird kind of mongrel hybrid fucking like accent everybody would have. Just got some kind of weird fucking just weird accent. But it's inconsistent. It's like most people in the movie sound British. There's like a couple who sound out South African. Will Smith just sounds like fucking Morgan Freeman. And Jaden Smith sounds like fucking Elmer Fudd. It's just, it's fucking, so, like, that's a horrible fucking direction choice. I mean, you know, it's not a horrible direction choice. It was a smart direction choice pulled off very horribly by a fucking hack. But, yeah, like, I, I gotta keep saying that. The lion's share of this fucking falls on Will Smith's shoulders because he's the one who pinned this story. And this is garbage. Like, it's it fucking, it's like the most basic fucking story ever. It's like, it's an NES game, basically, story-wise. It's, it's just fucking something's happened. You gotta get to fucking, you gotta fight your way to the fucking right side of the fucking screen. Kill all of the enemy mobs. Fucking collect the power-ups. Find the end of the fucking game thing. Boom. And like a lot of NES games, it has a very fucking disappointing fucking end boss. Fucking poor cell service, which is fucking... Okay, this is the main reason I really... Because, like, this is just... On the whole, this is just a mediocrely bad fucking movie. It's a... Like, in, 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 in the world of fucking M. Night Shyamalan movies, there's, like, three categories. There's, like... You know, there's, there's the rare good ones. You know, Sixth Sense, Unbreakable. And then there's the, the So Bad It's Good. Um, you know, fucking The Happening. Fucking, um, fuck, what was that other one? Fucking Happening. So, oh, yeah, Signs, Happening Signs. Fucking The Devil Movie. I laughed at that one. That was one was pretty funny to me, especially with the dude who was like, you see this? See this toast? Drops it on the floor. That's Satan. Satan made that happen. <laughs> Satan made my fucking jam fall first onto the floor. Satan. 
So that, that was a fucking fun one. But then there's just the bad ones. Like, the, like fucking Lady in the Water and The Village. Like, those are just, like, bad, boring fucking movies with, like, not even anything fucking comical to fucking make fun of. I mean, to be fair, The Village you can make fun of when it, the twist fucking happens because that's fucking retarded and ridiculous. But, like, the rest of the fucking movie is just, like, it's the fucking Crucible, but fucking lamer. So, yeah, this is, like, in that category. This is right there with Lady in the Water and fucking The Village. But the thing that fucking pisses me off, and this is, this is like, this is, like, a hallmark of bad science fiction. But I can't really bitch about this when I'm going to do my Star Trek review. So, fucking, After Earth, you got a fucking privilege here. To be fair, though, I could have fucking did this with The Purge if I had seen that this week. Or I might see it. I don't fucking know. Maybe. Fuck. Looks crap. Now I'm off fucking topic. Where was I? Let me fuck it. One second. Okay, fucking, so this, this movie, what really fucking gets up my crawl is, it's, it doesn't explain shit. I, I hate it when that happens in fucking science fiction, where it's just like, oh, it's the future, here, fucking just, this shit fucking happened, no explanation whatsoever, fucking ever, and you don't need to have a huge explanation, <coughs> like, Alien. The reason they were fucking there and the reason they had a shitty fucking thing, they were space fucking salvagers. Boom! It fucking, like, that's all you fucking need, just a little bit. Just a little bit of fucking explanation. This movie explains fucking nothing. Like, humans, we had to leave the planet. And it's never explained. Like, there's a montage at the beginning of, like, a fucking an earthquake and a tsunami and a fucking and, and a hurricane and a volcano going off so like it's kind of implied climate change did it even though climate change wouldn't have anything to fucking do with a volcano or an earthquake and ostensibly a fucking tsunami because tsunamis are mostly created by fucking underwater earthquakes so yeah those three fucking things couldn't have been fucking attributed to global warming I'll give you fucking I'll give you hurricanes so, Will Smith and M. Night, I'll give you that one. You know, I'm fucking tough, but I'm not fucking, you know, I'm not unfair. I'm not a monster. So, it's never explained why we left the planet. And when they get back, and it's fucking, for some reason, they're fucking transporting a monster to some other fucking colony, and for some fucking reason, they gotta go past fucking Earth. I mean... You know, it's not like fucking space is three-dimensional and you could be like, oh, here's the fucking planet we can't fucking live on anymore. Let's not fucking go past that. Let's kind of keep in a safe little fucking corridor. Nope. But for some fucking reason, this, this fucking space shuttle seems to have all the needed fucking elements to survive on Earth. How convenient. Hmm, yes. It's just, it's fucking just... It's, like, and here's the other thing. Humans can't breathe on the planet. Humans can't breathe on the planet, yet everything else fucking can. Baboons, which are fucking primates like fucking humans, so why the fuck can't humans live on a fucking planet that baboons fucking live on? That's fucking retarded. Baboons can fuck... Oh, yeah, baboons are ten feet tall now, too, for some fucking reason. Baboons, bisons, a fucking blue whale... Giant eagle vulture fucking things. Fucking mountain lions. Like, all of them. Like, they're fucking bigger and they're fucking doing fucking Cracker Jacks. So, like, I don't fucking know. The only thing I can think is maybe, just fucking maybe, this is actually a sequel to the fucking happening. That's the only fucking way this shit would make any fucking kind of sense. Like, and like, that's the thing. You can easily explain that. Like, oh, when, and like, here's the other thing, too. Will Smith 
and this is probably something you've all fucking seen in the trailers, where he's telling his son, like, everything on the planet has evolved to kill humans. No! No, they haven't! There's only one thing that... There's only one natural fucking thing on the planet that tries to kill them, and that's the fucking cougars, which already fucking try to kill humans, so I guess... Fucking cougars have evolved to kill humans all these fucking millions of fucking years. But, like, the fucking bison don't try to kill them. The fucking eagles actually fucking save them numerous fucking times. And the baboons, they attack him, but the only reason they fucking attack him is because he's fucking retarded and he throws a rock at one of them. And they play that off. It's like, oh, he was, he was, it was the fear. Because, like, this movie, this movie really hates fucking fear. Which, like, I kind of expect that from, like, Scientologists. I, I really do. Like, you know, like, oh, you have a natural emotion. You can't fucking have that. That's fucking bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like, fucking fear is bad. But, like, let's be honest here. Let's, let's honestly, like, real talk. Real talk. Hi, I'm fucking Matt. I'm the guy who fucking runs this channel. Fucking Napalm Sucks at Gaming. You know, so... If I saw a 10-foot baboon, and you, let's be honest, if you saw a 10-foot baboon, the last fucking thing you would do would be throw a fucking rock at it. Let's be completely honest here. Like, if it's just looking at you, yeah, you might pick up a rock in case it starts coming, like, walking fucking close to you, but it never does that in the movie. It's just looking at him like, what the fuck is that? Is this one of those things I've... Evolved the fucking kill, which which isn't that's also fucking retarded. Uh, like one, it's retarded on its base premise because like they've established in the movie, the only thing they ever fucking establish is we left Earth a hundred, not a hundred, a thousand years ago. So in that fucking time, everything's hyper evolved to become fucking giants. Fucking the bison are fucking doing better than fucking ever. And the Rocky Mountain is now a fucking volcano. This really didn't need to be on fucking Earth. It didn't. Like, there's never, like, it's just woods. It really fucking is. You know, I'm getting fucking, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. Because I gotta go back to fucking why this shit fucking pisses me off. One, fucking, it's, it's been a thousand years. So these things have hyper evolved. But two... And I cannot remember, too. What the fuck was it that fucking pissed me off about fucking why these things fucking evolved this way? Oh, yeah. Okay. Why would something evolve to kill something that isn't on the fucking planet it's on? That is fucking retarded. That's like if... That's like, that's like if there's a fucking lizard on this planet that only evolved to eat fucking Venetian twat flies. And, you know, it died out because there's no Venetian twat flies here on Earth. They're on another fucking planet. And they've never developed space travel. And fucking convoluted fucking Batman Spider-Man fucking suits. Ugh. I just, I fucking, this movie was horrible. Like, it just poorly fucking... Like, Jaden... Jaden Smith and... Like, I was honestly... Like, if I made this, like, earlier this week, I would have ripped the fucking shit out of him. I mean, I would have fucking really been nasty to a 14-year-old boy. But, like, I'm hearing... Like... Like, uh, his sister fucking Willow dropped out of the Annie movie because she's she just wants to be a kid. So, I'm like... Now, I'm th like, again, I'm thinking, like, this is all Will Smith's fault. Will Smith is the biggest fucking villain of this shit. He's, he's, like, pushing this shit on his kids, and they're like, look, we're not any good at this. We suck. Can we just be kids? Like, I just want to do kid things. Like, I want to make a movie. You know how much fucking time that takes out of my masturbation? Like, seriously, imagine if you were 14 years old, and you had to be on a fucking movie set for, like, fucking 18 hours a day, when would you fucking jerk off? Never. It'd be horrible. It's just like, 
So yeah, Will Smith's just like, he's become, he's really become like the Hollywood equivalent of those annoying people who constantly sh talk about how great their kids are and show you photos of them and show you like shit they made for them and like, like you fucking care, like you're supposed to fucking give two shits because this fucking person came in somebody fucking else or let someone else come in them and then they... It brewed in their fucking stomach for like a couple of months and then out popped that fucking thing. Like, no, fuck their kid. And like, but like, not in this case. Like, not fuck Willow and Jaden Smith. Like, fuck, fuck, you know, fuck stupid fucking Will Smith and his horrible wife's name, who... I have a funny story about her. I remember, like, I think it was OzFest 06. We were down in, like, the pit. And... All of a sudden, Will Smith comes out. It's like, what the fuck is he doing here? And everybody starts freaking out. And then, Jaden. No, that's fucking the son. Who the... I fucking don't care. They're, she's horrible. But, like, the end of the story is her band came out, and they play, and they they did not receive a warm welcome. <laughs> not at all. Nope. So, yeah, like, fucking... Nothing is... Again, nothing is explained. Nothing is explained why these animals have evolved to be bigger now. Why fucking nothing. Also, the earth fucking freezes over at night. Why? No fucking reason. No reason at all. It just freezes. Even though they're in a fucking jungle and, you know, it being a fucking jungle, you would think those would be tropical fucking plants and thus they wouldn't have any way to deal with fucking frozen fucking environments, but nope, they fucking do now, so fucking whatever. And it makes no sense. The sun is still there. The sun looks no fucking different in this movie. There's no fucking reason the fucking planet should freeze. Like, and really, how do the fucking animals survive that? Again, they're fucking bigger, but they're not like fucking woolly mammoths and fucking woolly rhinoceroses. They're just a big fucking baboon and a big fucking cougar. They should freeze the fucking death. It's just, this is fucking, this was the worst fucking science fiction movie ever. And it's, it's just goes to show you, if you do science fiction... Think the shit out. It's not fucking fantasy. It's not where you can just be like, hey, magic. You don't need fucking an explanation because, like, there's, there's fucking unicorns and dwarfs and cyclopses and gods and fucking necromancers and, and whatever. Magic. Like, science. Science. There has to be some science there. Even if it's bullshit science. You can get away with bullshit science. Just explain it. Just explain the fucking, the flawed science you're fucking going off of. And then maybe I can get behind your retarded fucking movie premise. But unless not, like, fucking, fuck you. Like, I, I'm seriously drawing at a blank for, for fucking shit I liked in this movie. Like, maybe, like, the only, maybe, like, dogs are barking. They agree with me. They're like, this is a piece of shit. You shouldn't say you like anything about it. I guess I like that the fact that you don't see, like, the actual true aliens. And from what I hear, this was supposedly part of a, a, a like, a, a series, a planned series. And I'm willing to bet, twist down the line we'll, we'll never fucking see like after earth 2 so uh, this is pure speculation because we'll never fucking see it i'm willing to bet like the aliens that created the fucking things you see the fucking the um the ursas the the fucking rancor cave troll looking fucking things like, you never see them. I'm willing to bet in, in a future movie it was going to be revealed that they were humans of some kind. Maybe, like, advanced psychic humans or mutants or fucking something, but they were going to be humans. I'm willing to fucking bet you that. Fucking... So I like that. I like that you never actually see kind of the real aliens and that the real aliens were not responsible for the reason why we left Earth. I like that. That was kind of a cool idea, which would be much better utilized in a much better science fiction movie. And really, the only good, bad thing about this is the CGI. Like, this has... This has Birdemic 
I mean, like, honestly, it fucking, it really, like, it's fucking awful. Like, like, even the fucking, an like, the only reason the animals look weird in this movie is because they're horribly CGI'd. That's the only reason it's like, that's a weird looking mountain lion. Other than the fact that it's, like, maybe fucking twice as big. Like, that's uh, that's a weird looking mountain lion because it does, it's not fucking looks real in any fucking way, shape, or form. There's one fucking hilarious scene, though. Once this movie gets out and, like, you know, the studios don't give a shit about people posting fucking clips up on YouTube, this is going to become a favorite of YouTube, is the scene where fucking uh, an Ursa attacks Will Smith's home. Uh, fucking Jaden's older sister in the movie throws him in, like, a giant bubble thing. And she gets ready to fight it, and it kills her. And there's just this shot of it, and they use it throughout the fucking movie, because it's, like, it's the flashback, because, like, that's, like, the turn... Because that's the reason why fucking... And this is, like... This is, like, honestly the only reason I would say people should see this, is because this is going to become a legendary... A legendarily bad movie. If nothing else, because of the amount of fucking nepotism in this. This really could have been called fucking After Earth the Jaden Smith story. Because the whole fucking plot is everybody hates this fucking kid for no reason. No reason. Like, he's fucking, he's a kid. And he's fucking, he's being trained to be thrown in the military. So like any fucking kid, yeah, he's kind of fucking having some trouble with it. And even his fucking dad, who, you know, Will Smith's playing him, so he's the most famous fucking dude ever, the coolest fucking guy ever. There's one real hammy scene where, like, a dude's missing a leg, and, like, he saved him, which, like, so we can fucking fly through space, but nope, fuck the cripples, fuck them, they can't even get, like, a cool Charles Xavier fucking hovery fucking thing from fucking the X-Men cartoon. Nope, fuck cripples. He's got to have that leg stumping. He's got to fucking look at him. Put him in the shitty fucking wheelchair from fucking a thousand years ago. Ha ha. Fuck you, no leg. Like, it's just fucking retarded. And he's like, stand me up. I get a salute to you. <laughs> but yeah, Cypher. Yeah, his name is Cypher. Cypher Rage. I didn't fucking mention that name earlier because a lot of people have fucking routinely fucking made fun of that. Because let's be honest, that is a name that wouldn't even fucking have been in an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie in the fucking 80s. And let's face it, Arnold had some dumb names. John Matrix. Nowhere near as dumb as Cypher Rage. Cypher Rage sounds like, he sounds like one of those horrible fucking shoulder padded, fucking pocketed, swords and gun having fucking 90 heroes, doesn't he? Like, fuck you, fuck you, Captain America, your fucking morals were good during World War II, but this is Cypher Rage's error. And then he shoots like a fucking prostitute or something. God, the fucking 90s sucked. Anyways, fucking, um, uh, this fucking movie is just awful. It really fucking is. I think I've just gone back in the loop where I just started again, where it's like, this movie's awful. Like, the spoiler alert. What else? Like, oh yeah, something I fucking mentioned at the beginning. Okay, the movie fucking pretty much just ends. Because, like, the ghost and fucking shit doesn't fucking come into play. Fucking, once he, he fucking only masters it after the fucking stupid thing lets him fucking kill him. So, fucking, there we go. The only real fucking thing the ghost had allowed him to do was run past fucking normal animals. And maybe it would have been fucking cool to see him do fucking something with it, but nope. Just by, that's the only real fucking save advantage to this movie. It's like, not counting credits, it's probably fucking 85 minutes. Maybe, may, probably 80. Could not count on credits. And, like... This is just, just, ugh. But once, once he, he fucking finds the beacon, 
which it's a beacon. Why wasn't it always on? Hmm? Like, why, why didn't, like, that, like, ships now, like, fucking, things now have fucking beacons on them, when it's like, oh, this thing hasn't fucking arrived yet, let's look at the fucking beacon we fucking have put on it, okay, it's fucking right there, so, no reason, again, why didn't they fucking cut it on when they were going, so many fucking things, like, it's just retarded, this, this movie, the only reason this movie fucking, the only reason the events in this movie happen it happens is because humans in the future are much like humans today, where we are retarded and we never fucking learn. Also, apparently doors don't exist anymore. Like, that's fucking, that's something that bugged me. It's like fucking, it's like if you ever been in like a Walmart distribution center, Fucking, like, they have the freezer areas, and they got these, like, long strips of, like, clear plastic. It's like that shit. And it's like... It's... Why? Like, why is that... Why are doors the first fucking thing to go in the future? I mean, at least in Star Trek, they had the little swooshy fucking doors. So they were still fucking doors in theory, even if they didn't have, like you know, convenient fucking knobs and shit. But, like, just, why do fucking doors not exist anymore? In any fucking future? Why is that, why are the door manufacturers the first fucking people to be cannibalized in fucking the apocalypse? I need to know these answers. But once, but like, here's the fucking retarded thing. He gets the beacon, right? He gets it. It's a beacon. No signal. No, no, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Oh, oh, they can't fucking get the signal from the beacon. No, the beacon, the beacon doesn't have a signal. Do you know why that, that's fucking retarded? A beacon makes a signal. That's all a fucking be a beacon, a beacon doesn't fucking need to receive signals. And it's even more retarded because he climbs up the fucking volcano, which is frozen for some fucking reason. And I don't mean that literally. I just mean until he actually fucking goes there. It's, you know what it's like? And this is what this entire movie's like. It's like a shitty fucking video game. Until you actually, until he actually goes to the volcano, it's just a static fucking image in the background. Not moving, the literally, the clouds aren't moving or anything. It's not until he fucking goes over there, which, by the way, is the only real fucking scene change in the movie. Like, and you know what? The Lord of the Rings movies get a lot of shit because, like, yeah, it's a bunch of fucking walking. But at least they fucking go different places. At least it's like, okay, we're going to a forest. Then we're going to go to some fucking uh, town. Then we're going to go to some rocky fucking hills. Then we're going to go into a riverbank. Then we're going to go to the fucking city of the elves. And then we're going to go through a mountain, through a city of the dwarves. Oh no, cave trolls! Like, at least fucking they switch shit up. It's just forest. After forest, after forest, he climbs up something. And you're like, okay, finally, we're going to see some new shit. Maybe we'll see some fucking ruins. Maybe we'll get some answers as, as to why we left this planet. Nope. You know, that would have been a clever fucking twist if the Ursas were being sent by humans still remaining on the fucking planet. Holy shit, I just made a fucking better movie than this. You're welcome, Will Smith and M. Night Shyamalan. But, like, once he gets up to the fucking top of the volcano and shoots off the beacon, it, sh it, sh it fucking it shoots off a spirit bomb. It literally goes through, like, the fucking moon and shoots off a flare. And then a fucking ship comes and picks him up. He's Will Smith's proud of his fucking son. The fucking end. Like the end is him going to a fucking hospital. This is... This is fucking... Again, I don't know who the fuck... I want to know who the fucking blame for this. Like... 
It has to be Will Smith. It has to be. He's the one. He's the one. Again, he's the one who fucking funded this shit. He's the one who bought his fucking son a movie. He's the one who wrote this. He's the one who hired M. Night Shyamalan. Like, honestly, do you think M. Night Shyamalan wanted to fucking make this movie? No. He probably wanted to fucking make whatever sequel the fucking devil's gonna fuck. Ugh. Sorry, burp. Whatever fucking stupid sequel the devil's gonna fucking come out. He took this as desperation because he's like, oh shit, Will Smith, one of the greatest, most popular, charismatic fucking movie stars ever, is offering me a fucking lifeline. I am gonna fucking take this opportunity. And nope, like that's why, again, Will Smith comes off as more villainous than M. Night Shyamalan because, yeah, M. Night, you know, M. Night Shyamalan. We don't expect him to make a good movie at this fucking point, you know? So, really, like, Will Smith just picked a crippled man as his fucking patsy. God, Will Smith is fucking evil. I can't believe he fucking turned down Django for this. Like, yeah, he was he was Quentin Tarantino's first pick for Django Unchained. Nope, he had to make this fucking thing. This was his fucking baby. This was his vanity project. Ugh. So I guess in conclusion, um, it's a flawed, but not very good movie. Like, it's a horrible movie. Like, watch, watch literally any of the other M. Night Shyamalan movies. Or, you know what? Okay, how about this? Instead of watching this movie, just go out and go to YouTube, get drunk, it's booze, and just watch clips from Independence Day and Signs in no fucking particular order. Just watch random clips, and that will make a better movie than this. So yeah, After Earth. <laughs> fucking awful.